Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, SAP with IK. Hope you're all doing good. Today's topic will be on the serial number profile and how are we going to use the serial numbers uh, in SAP basically in the production planning module. And how are these serial numbers are basically used uh, to track uh, the machines that are being manufactured uh, as part of the discrete manufacturing. So like you know, uh, in the pharma industry or maybe the food industry, uh, we always see a batch number specified on the package, right? So that batch number, it basically helps us to track down the complete list of uh, raw materials used and also the process it has been manufactured and so on and so forth. In discrete manufacturing, let's take an example of the automotive industry or maybe uh, uh, machinery or maybe an equipment or maybe uh, in a simple term, let's take an example of a laptop, right? So when we purchase a laptop, uh, each laptop will have its own unique identity right so that will have uh, in the form of a serial number and that helps us to track down the complete history of that particular laptop right so if you have a warranty period on that particular laptop and what services are done uh, or what maintenance have been uh, performed on that particular product so that will be tracked with reference to this serial number so here in this topic we are going to see how are we going to create uh, the production orders and perform the production execution process by using the serial numbers in the discrete manufacturing? So let's get started. So here in this slide, you can see, uh, you know, there are like uh, 10 uh, laptops that have been manufactured through the same uh, production order or maybe the work order but SAP we basically call it as a production order so the order quantity of the production order is of 10 pieces and if you look at these uh, serial numbers so the last digit is going to vary across each of this particular uh, device or the laptop so this has a serial number uh, ending with one and then the second one ends with two and the third one with three and the fourth one with four so on and so forth so if you are manufacturing 10 devices in that particular production order, so then we have to uh, provide 10 different serial numbers so that we can basically track which serial number goes to which device. So based on that, we are going to track the complete uh, history and the warranty details of that particular device that has been manufactured. So here you cannot basically assign uh, the same serial numbers across all these uh, uh, quantities or maybe the 10 pieces here, but it should have a unique code that basically denotes that the D001, it belongs to laptop number one and D002, uh, this belongs to the laptop number two. So based on that, uh, the serialization procedure will be carried out in the SAP system. So let's get into SAP and see how this works. So here we are in SAP. So let me go to the creation screen of uh, the production order and the transaction is uh, CO01. So here I'm not using any MRP, uh, I mean, not to uh, go to go through that particular process. So here I'm going to create a production order directly uh, or maybe the manual process. So the material code I am going to use here is uh, 500 650 and this is a plant and then we have the order type so as soon as i create the production order i need to enter the quantity so let's say i'm going to uh, manufacture 10 pieces of this particular rotor and the date is going to be the current date and here we have the user status uh, i'm going to approve this and then save the production order you can ignore this uh, it's related to the costing so now we have the order number created so if I have to go to the uh, order details and see here, so since we have 10 quantities that are being manufactured in this particular order, so now what are the serial numbers that have been assigned here? So now you can see that the serial number starts with the number 26 and it ends basically with 35. So here we have 10 serial numbers assigned to it. So now, as soon as I created the production order uh, and saved it, you can see that the serial numbers are created. So how are we going to uh, manage in the system or through any kind of configuration that I don't want the serial numbers to be created as soon as the, pro the production order is created, but I would like to assign the serial numbers 
while it is being released so basically the production planner he is going to create a production order for example and then the production uh, supervisor he might assign the serial numbers uh, to the order and then he is going to release the uh, production order so in that scenario how are we going to configure uh, the setup in sap so let's uh, uh, take a walk on that so here in the material master in the work scheduling view we are going to assign the serial number profile so this serial number profile it has uh, a configuration setup that basically uh, enables you to uh, tell system that the serial number should be created during the creation or will it be during the release of the production order so let me go to the uh, configuration so it is ys2 and here the serial number that we have used is triple zero one and if i go to the configuration so this is the uh, profile that i have used in the serial number profile triple zero one we have the serializing uh, procedures uh, this basically defines like in what activity and then what document should the serial numbers be created automatically or maybe manually so here uh, since we are in the uh, production orders we have to check for uh, the ppau and pprl these two are basically the serialization procedures so if i check the uh, serialization procedure uh, ppau th this is basically used like uh, while creating the production order how the serial number should be managed so if i go into the drop down of these options here yeah so now in this uh, serial numbers in the pp order dur during the creation i have maintained it as automatic so that's the reason whenever i save the production order the serial numbers will be automatically generated by sap itself the uh, next one which is the pp order release or pprl so this procedure has been defined as 03 so we, uh, which means that while you release the production order the serial number should already be present in that particular production order that's the reason we made it as an obligatory so though you assign the serial numbers manually though you assign the uh, serial numbers by uh, the sap default number range it doesn't matter right so it should always have a serial number allocated in that particular production order for the total quantity so based on this the serial numbers will be uh, updated in the uh, production order so here uh, since i have created the production order yeah so now i'm going to release it so now the order has been released why because the serial numbers are uh, available in the order which are basically created during the creation process but what if i let me not save this one so i'm going to come back and i am going to remove all the serial numbers here so delete so now there are no serial numbers and now i'll try to release the production order so now it says that the release has been rejected so if i go to the logs for release so here we can see that uh, there are two error messages it says that the item it basically requires 10 serial numbers to be assigned in the production order so this is happening due to the obligatory uh, settings that we have maintained in the uh, serialization procedure right so now i'm going into the change mode of this and let me go back let me not uh, save this okay now here back to the serial numbers again so these are the serial numbers that have been uh, created earlier now i'm going to release it and then save right so the next step is that i mean uh, let's assume that you have completed the confirmation process and also you have completed the uh, goods issue process and so on uh, and the last step is basically to perform the goods receipt against the production order so while i do the goods receipt let me show you how it basically works so there are a few uh, mandatory fields that i need to update let me do that so enter the number of containers so here the good recipient apc 
and then the text and the number of containers right so now the data is updated so if i click on check now you can see uh, these warning messages right it means that each of these serial numbers that we see here like the 10 serial numbers it has its own equipment number created in the system so these equipment numbers it basically refers to uh, the total quantity that we have manufactured in this production order so let me show you that let me skip this one okay so now in the serial numbers tab in the Migo screen you can see the serial numbers uh, that we already had in the production order so they will be coming around down here automatically so you need not enter again uh, manually right so i'm going to post the stock so now this stock has been posted and let me take a look in uh, mmb so we have the material and then the plant so now we have a stock of 20 pieces so the 10 have been posted now and we already have a 10 uh, that has been posted previously so if i have to look at the serial numbers for these uh, 10 pieces so then i will go to the environment and then click on the serial number so this basically shows us the complete list of equipments that have been uh, created against those 20 pieces so in this particular production order that we have seen these are the 10 serial numbers that were created and each serial number it has its own uh, equipment number so to check the equipment let me open uh, the ie03 where you can see the equipment so i'm going to copy paste the equipment here so this equipment number it will be associated with the serial number 35 and for this particular material so from the plan maintenance side uh, we do have uh, the setup where you can basically uh, define the warranty period uh, of that particular uh, product that has been sold to the customer so this is how we basically can track uh, the total assignment of the serial numbers to the parts that we are manufacturing and also we can uh, maintain a, a log of the warranty uh, date like when the warranty is going to start and when is it going to end and it also uh, tells us the details of you know uh, the last serial number that has been created so far so here i have uh, picked the equipment number for 35 so let's say if i have picked the equipment for 31 so which is 7080 and you go to this one yeah in the serial data we can see the material number the serial number and it also tells us the last serial number that has been created for this particular material code right so this is the equipment number and this is the serial number associated with it and also it gives us an information like what is the last serial number uh, created for that material and also you have uh, several other parameters like where is this particular equipment lying in is it in the understood stock or uh, is it in the quality inspection stock and what is the plan what is the storage location and what is the uh, last uh, goods moment date the date we have posted the goods receipt so on and so forth and uh, we we do have these uh, various views where you can enter the manufacturer uh, information and also the organization data and also the location if this is basically stored in any uh, specific functional location just for uh, the tracking purpose that's all for today guys thank you for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel also click on the bell icon to receive updates we'll meet again soon in our next video until then take care stay safe stay healthy Bye -bye.